What a nice morning. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to say that. It has been a whole week since I uploaded a video on my channel. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and spent the week with their family, spent the week relaxing. I know I definitely took a nice little break off just to kind of recharge from, you know, a long vlogmas. I did 25 days straight. I actually filmed a New Year's resolutions type video that I was going to upload first as my first video back from vlogmas, but I decided that I wanted to squeeze in this little video just as a little bonus New Year's Eve gift for you guys because I know you guys are watching this on New Year's Eve. So happy New Year's. Let's toast to 2022. I'm basically already done with my coffee, but so yeah, you guys will see that video tomorrow. So if you guys hear me say in that video that that's my video back, just mind your business. Um, so yeah, I'm throwing in this extra little video because I have been saying this entire month that I need to get a haircut really badly and my appointment kept getting rescheduled. They rescheduled my appointment too today. So I'm just gonna go quickly get a haircut because I really need one. I figured we would do a whole New Year's Eve glow up video, get ready with me, all that fun stuff that you guys really like to see on my channel. I figured we would do a whole New Year's Eve special edition so that we can glow up for the new year and go into the new year feeling like a bad bitch and feeling like our best self. And I desperately need a haircut. Like it's been a long time since I've gotten a haircut and my hair grows really fast. So Sam's gonna drive me to my hair salon and then we're gonna come home. We're gonna kind of glow the F up. We're gonna get all ready for New Year's Eve, take some New Year's Eve pictures. I have a really cute dress that I got from Opali that I'm really excited to wear. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have any plans, don't get it twisted. But I always take every excuse to get all dressed up. Especially Especially since I'm gonna have a fresh haircut. I just I want to glow up, you know It's currently 9 30 in the morning So we're starting this glow up early in the day and it's probably going to take the entire day We're all charged up I use my new Nespresso machine as you guys saw that I got for Christmas if you guys want to see everything that I got for Christmas I have a video I will link it right here and I'll also link in my description um, my entire vlogmas playlist So if you guys missed any of my vlogs, you guys can go watch those so I'm excited. Let's get this glow up started Here's the outfit of the day yeah. Haircut OOTD. On our way, my inspo pick is going to be a photo of myself from when I first got my layered haircut from like back in May. I have not gotten like those really short layers since then, so I kind of want to get those again because it made my hair just feel so nice and so healthy. And it also just like looked so good whenever I styled it, so I kind of want to bring that back for the new year. Kind of start fresh with my hair and like grow it out to be nice and healthy with no dead ends. So that is the goal. I have two masks with me. I'm gonna double mask, get a haircut quickly, and then, and then the real party starts when we start doing the makeup and putting on the dress. I can't wait to show you guys this dress that I wanna wear later. That is the plan. I can't wait to transition into my final form and just be glowed up. I'm wearing these sunglasses to be a little extra because I am just feeling a little rough right now, but we're glowing up everybody. Okay, my face is so red because I had the mask on this whole time and it was like really hot, but this is the haircut. It looks really good. Some nice refreshed layers. I'm gonna go home now and do the makeup and kind of like touch up the hair a little bit and then the whole like look will be tied together, but I think this is a nice little haircut to start 2022. So let's head home and do the makeup and all the other fun stuff. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for a nice haircut. All right guys, so here's a better look at the haircut. I really wanna start putting some makeup on because every time I get a haircut, I always feel like I can't fully see what it's gonna look like until I put my makeup on. So we're gonna do that right now. It's just gonna slightly clip this back. Some of you guys may be wondering, why are you not sitting at your vanity doing your makeup? Like this is a completely new background. You never really do your makeup in your bed like this. Well, it is because my vanity chair broke in half, literally out of nowhere, don't know how it happened. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic 
Cosmetics Serum. I just started using this. Becca actually got it for me as a little early birthday present and I've really been liking it. It's really annoying that my chair just randomly broke because I honestly use my vanity chair so much. Like I sit at my vanity probably three fourths of the day and I do everything there. So it's been very inconvenient to not have a chair. I ordered one on Amazon that I hope is gonna look nice and I hope is gonna be a little bit better and more functional for that area. It's like a little bit smaller so it could actually fit underneath my vanity, but I have no idea. It was kind of like a cheap chair from Amazon. So that one's probably gonna break too. I have this whole setup on my bed right here. I'm using my little tray that Sam got me for Christmas as a little makeup table. For primer, we're doing the Tatcha liquid silk canvas. How was everybody's Christmas? Like I did the, what I did for Christmas video in the morning of Christmas. So I didn't really vlog what I did on Christmas, which was nothing. I didn't really do anything. I wasn't with my family. Me and Sam kind of just spent it together. We watched movies. We watched Elf. We did all the Christmassy stuff. We made homemade pizza. So it was like kind of like cute. We made the best of it. What did you guys do for Christmas? Because I know some people did get to spend it with their family. Basically what I'm doing right now, like getting ready, even though I have nothing to go to, I have no like New Year's Eve party to go to. I still kind of want to just do things that I enjoy and that what makes me happy, which is, you know, doing my makeup, doing my hair, getting all dolled up. This is like really dark for me, but I am self tan, so it should look okay. I look a little crazy right now, but don't worry. Don't worry guys. We're going to fix this. But yeah, just doing things that make me feel happy and that bring me joy so that, you know, I'm not just sitting moping around because I don't have like actual plans. So I would really suggest you guys do that too, because I did it on Christmas Eve and it actually made me feel better because I number one felt productive. I also just enjoyed getting myself all ready. And so I feel like that really helped me keep a positive mindset, even though I was like upset that I wasn't seeing my family. Is this like shaking all over the place? But I just went in with some Norris foundation. I'm in the shade Barcelona. I use this shade when I'm self tanned, which I kind of am. These clips are really bothering me right now. I really am excited for you guys to see my new year's video for tomorrow because a little spoiler, it's a message to my future self type of video. And also my new year's resolutions, it's like a kind of a mix. And I really, really like the things that I was talking about in that video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for tomorrow because that will be up. Um, I'm like very excited for the new year. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down below like what your thoughts are on the new year. For some reason, I've been having some really great vibes thinking about 2022. Like I feel like it's gonna be, I feel like this is gonna be the year. I don't know. What do you guys think? What vibes are you guys getting? My birthday is coming up, which I'm very excited about, January 8th. A lot of you guys have been messaging me like saying like you have the same birthday as me because I think I mentioned it in a video. So if we're birthday twins, definitely let me know because that's really cool. I never really knew anyone that had the same birthday as me. Um, so it's cool. Me and Becca are actually supposed to be going to Florida for my birthday. We booked this like months ago, but mark your calendars because January 8th, I'm turning 22, which is very, very scary to me. I'm already like in my 20s. Like I'm not just 21, like I'm in my 20s, which is a little scary. Now that we have our base on, I'm gonna show you guys some of my new products that I've been using. One being the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Really been loving it. These are all the places that I put it and then I just use a brush. I really like this product because it blends out very easily. It's way more liquidy than the milk makeup one that I usually use. So my actual New Year's Eve plans is me, Sam, my two sisters, and their boyfriend. We're all gonna be home and just play games eat food, like do nothing together. So that should be kind of fun because we always have like a lot of fun together and just do random things. In regards to my content though, I have a lot of really exciting ideas that I wanna like really put my all into and like put a lot of effort into. I have an idea to kind of spice up my room a little like with my room decor. You guys may be getting an updated room tour video so soon, which is insane for me to say because I feel like I just redid my room and I just posted a room tour, but it's not gonna be a crazy change. It's just a little tiny any change that I want to make that I think will make my room like 10 times better. So I'm excited about that. So stay tuned. Another new product that I've been loving is a new setting powder. You guys know I really was needing a new setting powder. I got the Hourglass Translucent Powder for Christmas. It is so beautiful. I love the way it goes on and I love the finish. So I was so excited about this. I'm trying to finish my makeup before the sun goes down because it's setting extremely quickly. Okay, so I have these two little packs from ColourPop. These are just 
those pearls and then these are like studs so i don't really know which ones i want to do because i think they both scream new year's eve so i guess i'm gonna see i think i'm gonna do the pearls just because i really like pearls and i want to do just like a smoked out wing just very simple and then use the pearls to kind of spice up the look we're gonna use this buxom palette and i'm just gonna take these brown shades and kind of pop that in my crease a little bit just get a little warm color in there like, I'm just going to use that as my base, and now I'm just going to do a little wing with some dark shadow, maybe some black also in there too, and just do a wing with a little tiny brush, and then really, really buff it out and like smoke it out. Oh, let's do it. I really have to concentrate when I do this. So I think that's it for the eyes. It's really not that great, but I'm just going to leave it because I am not going anywhere. So we're going to try and use these little pearls. I don't really know where I want to put them, but this is really going to be hard. I keep dropping them everywhere and it's literally not, not cooperating. <gasps> okay, I stuck it there. I got it there. Press it in. Okay, wait, that's looking really cool. Okay, let's continue. Continue the trend. Sticking. Does that look cool or weird? I think it looks kind of cool. I'm gonna try the other eye and do mascara and then I think it'll all tie together Especially once I do my lips because my right now my lips have no color to them and they look gross Just give me one second. I'm gonna speed through this I think it looks really sick. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I love it. I love the pearls Let's line my lips so that we can actually tie the look together. I'm using a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk to line my lips and now lastly, we're using the Buxom White Russian Lip Cream Gloss over top. I love this duo. They go so good together. Okay, I'm obsessed with the makeup. Like, I can't even believe I actually did this makeup like this. Like, this is the finished result. I'm obsessed. You guys have to see the dress because then the entire look is going to be really drawn together because the eyes go so good with the dress. I got a few different dresses actually, but this one in particular, I just know it's going to be perfect for this video. If I were to be going out on New Year's Eve, out to the club, this is what I'd be wearing. So let's put on the dress and then we're going to do a full reveal. I'm going to put on my ring light. You guys are really gonna get to see it. The lighting's gonna be better, so let's do it. Okay, I have the dress on. It's really, really cute. I have to show you guys. Here it is. It's pink and sparkly. I love it so much, and it looks so good with the eye look. Like, look how cute she is. It's just like a little bodycon dress, and I love it. I'm so obsessed. I'm going to be making a bunch of TikToks as well, so if you guys wanna go follow me on there and on Instagram to see like pictures. I'm also going to be posting like a lot of really good pictures of my hair, so if you guys wanna like use it for reference. So go follow me on those platforms, but here is the finished results. Here's the dress. I've literally been saving this. I also got two other dresses that I might put on just for fun because Opali sent me like a few different variations. So you guys can tell me which ones you like the best. This one's the first one. I loved this one because it's pink and sparkly and you know that's like my vibe. I just love it like. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the next dress. I'm obsessed with this dress. It's like a little black dress and it has like really beautiful sleeves that actually have some pearls on it and it's like kind of mesh. What do you guys think? I feel like this one actually might be a better New Year's Eve vibe, but I'm not like entirely sure. What do you guys think? I'm like digging it. I think that it is. I think that this is the way to go. Now that we're all dressed, what is there to do? What is there to do? Nothing. That's the answer. Some of my pearls already came off. I've been taking a bunch of TikToks and just pictures. But yeah, I think that's it for this get ready with me. I really wish that I had a nice little New Year's Eve party to go to to wear this dress out, but that is 2021 for you and 2020 as well. This entire two years, I feel like everything just you know you know so i talk about this a lot in my new video but i am really gonna try to manifest myself to be way more social in 2022 i have all these cute dresses to go out in so if anyone wants to invite me somewhere please do because i will come i will force myself to come so like i said stay tuned for tomorrow's video i'm really excited about tomorrow's video so yeah Happy New Year's. 2021 was honestly a good year for me. Like, as much as there was, like, some really down times, I really think I learned so much in this past year. Like, so much that I've never thought that I ever would. Like, I don't think I have grown this much in one year 
in my entire life. Like, not even being dramatic in so many different ways. There's so many things that happened I never thought would ever happen. I just can't even put it into words. You guys can literally go back and watch my entire year because I was posting three times a week for one whole year. So you have a lot of videos to go watch and just see me throughout this year, but... I'm super grateful for every single one of you guys. I'm so grateful for all the experiences I had this year and I'm very excited to make some more and share them with you guys. In 2022, go find someone to kiss at midnight and enjoy yourselves. Be safe and I'll see you guys next year. I've been waiting all video to say that. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, AKA next year. And go follow my Instagram and my TikTok because I'm lonely. That's the only ounce of joy that I will get from today. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me on this little get ready with me and getting all dolled up for absolutely no reason. I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm gonna end the video. So, good night.